Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Today, we're going to alter a recipe. Now, this was a recipe on the back of Great Value Pitted Prunes. Now, I've added some of those uh, occasionally to smoothies, which is why I bought them. But I happened to see the recipe on the back. I don't know if y'all can see that. Is that going to show up? There. Maybe like that. Yeah. So I've altered this recipe. Let me just see if I can make that better. I don't know. Maybe y'all can see it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to alter the recipe uh, to what I think is going to taste good because I wasn't super impressed with it, but a little bit. So the main reason, of course, to use prunes is, can y'all see that? the percentage of potassium in them, which is very good. So uh, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to do all of this, or most of it, in my food processor. So I'm going to be turning it on and off, and it'll make a little noise, but I'm just going to leave the camera rolling. All right, so this food processor. Now I've got this on my website under products I highly recommend because my other food processor, which I'd had, I don't know, 20 years, finally just bit the dust and my dogs might bark or whatever so just know that ahead of time so the first thing I'm going to do is grind up one cup of old-fashioned oats and I'm going to do that so they kind of are somewhat like uh, flour I'm not going to completely grind them up but just enough to make them more like flour so here we go it's going to be loud grind them a little bit more. All right, so they're not uh, completely ground up, but somewhat. Let y'all see what they look like. All right, so in, an, in a separate bowl, I'm gonna dump those uh, ground up oats. in a separate bowl, and to that I'm going to add a whole tablespoon of baking powder, right there, baking powder. And I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now this is going to be our uh, dry ingredients. Let me just whisk those together a little bit, get them all mixed up. So these will be our dry ingredients and we're going to actually pour the wet ingredients into this bowl in a minute. So now I've got a cup of pecans and I'm thinking maybe we want to grind those up too. Now remember I'm in the process of altering a recipe quite a bit in fact. That's kind of what I go through when I'm altering the recipe. And uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and grind the pecans too. So we'll just dump those in there. Grind those up too. That's what they look like. So I'm going to dump those in with the dry ingredients. And again, I'm always in favor of a recipe where I don't have to mess up quite so many big bowls. I don't mind the little ones, but I like to not mess up the whole bunch of big bowls. All right, so we've got that mixed up. That's kind of a rough textured mixture. And so now we're ready for the uh, other ingredients. So I'm going to use one cup of prunes, pitted prunes. I did kind of rinse those off. That just made me feel better to rinse them off. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of light brown sugar. This is a couple of tablespoons 
of Grandma's molasses. And this is just to add some sweetness to it. I can get that out of that little thing there, that little bowl. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and add my spices in too. I've got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon right there, ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, that's right there, and a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And the ground ginger kind of mellows out the taste of these other two spices. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump those in. I'm going to also add the juice of one orange and about three-fourths of the rind of the orange. And uh, this didn't make much juice because it was a juice orange, so that's probably one-fourth to one-third cup of orange juice and the rind. Dump that in. And we're going to use one egg. Dump that in. And I've got to get some milk out of the refrigerator, so hold on. All right, so this is three-fourths a cup of whole milk. I'm going to dump that in. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And right now I can't find my little spoon, so we're just going to kind of guess at it. That's it right there. Just had to pour that in. I don't know where my spoon is. All right, so we're ready to mix the wet ingredients now. And it's going to also chop up those prunes, so it's going to be not noisy, so hold on. So now we're going to add one banana. Now this was one of my frozen bananas. Let's see if I can open that lid and put that in. All right, so I'm just going to dump that in, and that was a, a ripe banana. That kind of acts like another egg to hold the muffins together. All right, All right we're going to grind it up again. So now we're ready to dump the, the wet ingredients into the dry. All right, so I'm just going to hold the bottom of that and dump it into the dry ingredients. It smells really good. So I'll get that out of there. And now we're just going to kind of gingerly mix this up. We don't want to do a whole lot of stirring. Now I've got 12 muffin uh, little cups over there and I've lined them with paper and that was uh, in the recipe that was on the back of the prune so I'm sort of following their procedure. And so all we want to do is just get all this wet. And that looks like about it. Now there's no oil in this and uh, only one egg. So that banana in there kind of works like uh, 
an egg would to kind of help hold things together. Now this is going to be loaded with uh, fiber and going to have a lot of potassium in it and I don't know what else. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill these little cups to about two-thirds full. After I get them all filled up, we'll be right back. Okay, we got all of the batter in the little tins. This does make 12. Now, uh, the recipe that I was altering said to only fill the little cups two-thirds full, but you can see I fill mine fuller than that, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So anyway, we're going to uh, bake these in the oven. The oven is at 400 degrees, and we're going to bake them for about 20 minutes. When they get done, we'll be back, and I'll have my kitchen all cleaned up again. All right, we'll be back. All right, I just took these out of the oven, and uh, sure enough, they worked okay going ahead and filling them up to the top. They didn't rise very much because they don't have a lot of flour in them. So I'm going to put a scoop of butter down in the middle of two of them, one for me and one for Mr. Bucky. Right down in the middle like that. And when they cool, I will uh, take them out and show you what they look like on the inside. All right, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. All right, I'm ready to taste it. Let's see, I'm going to cut me a little piece off. Let me get a fork. Good. That's what they look like on the inside with the butter. I should have sprayed my little uh, papers here because they kind of stuck to the papers, but it was spicy. And I can definitely taste the orange in there. Very definitely. Whoops. It's good, and it feels healthy, okay? It really does. So I'll probably make these again. Mm. Just a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it did have to have butter in it, okay? All right, but they are moist. Even without the butter, they'd be moist. Next time I'm going to spray my little paper cups for the muffins to see. Definitely stuck to the paper, see? Anyway, they're good and they're healthy if you don't put the butter on them, right? Right. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.